How are we doing, Nation? Wanted to keep it short and sweet. We got Mail Day. This is an awesome Top Stadium Club certified on-card auto of Matt Adams that came in the mail today. Courtesy of Dane. Um, he checks out the YouTube channel. He's Cardtech710 on YouTube. I really appreciate him sending this in. It's an awesome addition to my collection. Thank you so much, Dane. Everybody go check out Cardtech710 on YouTube. Give him a sub. Check out his content. As you can see, he's a YouTube channel owner, collector, and trader of vintage and modern cards. So hit him up if you want to do any trading, things like that. Uh, maybe you can help out with the things that he collects. Check out his channel. It would be you know, great help. I'm going over there right after this to see what new content he's put up. Also, Buffalo was in town to play the Norfolk Tides. Um, not the talent you would expect with Buffalo. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is in the big leagues now, and Bo Bichette has a broken wrist, so he's not with the team. So unfortunately, I couldn't get my Futures game program signed, but still some pretty good cards. So as you can see, this Lordy Scorial Jr. I got signed. Um, he did one of six. Actually, there wasn't six. But this is a story for all of you that do graph. I had six cards of him. I heard he's only a one per. So rather than taking the chance and him signing a card that wasn't my absolute favorite, I only showed him my favorite card, which happened to be this one, the 1983 insert. So everyone, take that advice. If you know somebody limits, don't show them a whole page of cards. Show them just your favorite or your favorites if they sign two or even three. Also got Danny Barnes. That one was pretty cool. This is the last from 2012 that I had of him. This is his first Bowman from Bowman draft of that year. We got Sean Reed Foley from 2019 Bowman. He signed one for everybody. It was pretty pleasant. Also got Alan Hansen. This one I really like. This is 2014 um, Bowman draft. As you can see with the rainbow, this is a refractor. It's a really nice card. I also have the base paper of this. I showed him both. He only signed this one, which is awesome. If I had to make a pick, I would definitely want um, the draft pick one signed. One thing they did with 2014, as you can see, is they put the scouting profile on there, which his average and speed were both graded at a 70. I'm surprised the Giants actually let him go. Reese McGuire, one of the nicest guys you can meet in minor league baseball. Got him to sign his 2019. This is a 1985 retro from Donruss. Devon White is the manager um, of Buffalo. They also have Bobby Meacham, but I missed him while I was getting Ben Revere, who will be coming up. Richard Urania. I heard he signed multiples, but I only had one card. The top's big league. Which Big League's coming out in the next couple weeks, I'm pretty excited for. Really like that design last year. Kevin Biggio. Um, for those of you that have seen my card catalog and see how I um, kind of document my cards, I honestly didn't realize I had this card because instead of Kevin, you can see how he spells his name, I had it in there as Gavin, G A V I N. So I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised when I looked in there and saw I had this card. So it was great to be able to get his um, card signed for my collection. I did bring some Craig Biggio cards just in case he happened to show up. Didn't see him. But that's another rule of graphing. Always be prepared. So it was great to be able to add him to the collection. Here's the Ben Revere's. There's a 2016 Bowman. I believe this is 2014. I really like that design. This one is has the gold border. Most of them were just white. There's the 2011 Tops, his rookie card. I had the 2011 Bowman Chrome rookie card, but I traded that one to a guy who watches the channel. Um, his name's Connor. I really appreciated it. He traded me a Washington Nationals card for him. As you guys know, I'm a big Nationals fan. So it was really cool to be able to get a Ben Revere card where he's in a Washington jersey. And this is an awesome picture. I honestly believe that wall looks like um, part of the wall in Turner Field. 
So I'm assuming they're in Atlanta at the time. So as you can see, it was a pretty solid day. I got a lot more cards than I would have gotten with some other teams. Uh, most of the guys did limit, but everyone seemed to sign that was there, which was awesome. So a good day with Buffalo. I was going to do tonight's game, but it got rained out. There were some severe storms in the area, tornado warning. So the game got postponed to a double hitter tomorrow, which is Mother's Day. So make sure you um, send a thank you note, card, call to your mother. Um, let her know how that you appreciate her. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out there tomorrow just because it being Mother's Day and the double hitter starts at 1 o'clock. But overall, not bad, even though Guerrero's not there and Bichette's injured. Pretty solid outing, some solid cards. Now the tides will go on the road for a little while, and I'll get ready for the next homestand. Thanks for enjoying. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.